Hello everyone, this is Chow and we're here with another live stream. This time it's a Chow Garden modding slash hacking stream. I'll get into what exactly I mean with that in just a brief moment. Just making sure the stream's all going good. Everything looks good on my end. Um, first off, I'd like to shout out all the members. You can see their names scrolling on the top. Thank you for helping support the channel. Really appreciate all of you and uh, your support that you bring for the channel. It is very much appreciated. A quick second to shout out my Instagram, Chow Gaming. Go follow it if you haven't already. I'll be announcing all uh, live streams and some very important stuff on there. There'll also be some behind the scenes stuff too. So uh, take a look at that if you're interested. Hey Viper Sniper, hey Cat Craze, Wyatt, Natasha, Ramen, Ethan. Got a good turnout. Hey all you guys. Hey Fui. So uh, last few episodes I've been talking to some of you guys. Same with the last live stream. You guys have been asking, when am I going to get Chow World extended? You can see right there, extended Chow World. I finally got it. It took... It wasn't actually as hard to install as I thought it would be, so I feel a little bit dumb for maybe not getting it sooner. If we are watching your TV and phone, wow. So, uh, anyways, yeah, we have Chow World extended. Uh, the feature in this mod that I was most excited for personally was the Dreamcast Chow Gardens, in particular the Dark Chow one. And here we are, this is crazy. I messed around with this a little bit earlier just to make sure it was working and stuff, but prior to today, I had never actually played on any of the Dreamcast Gardens, and I think they are super cool. Hey, Karma Royal. Just look at this, this is so cool. The Dreamcast Chow uh, Garden got such better gardens than the GameCube versions. It is, like, ridiculous. Pink and purple chow are no longer available in Sonic Adventure 2, Ethan. Uh, yes, that is normally true, I believe, for the PC version, but with this mod, I'm pretty sure they actually are back in the game. So, this mod fixes quite a few things, and it's quite awesome. Hey, Dennis. Thanks, everyone, for checking uh, out the stream so far. We'll get more into the fun part of the mods here soon, just kind of showing off uh, what we're working with and what um, we'll be changing in the main series, because going forward, this mod will be in the main series. My ultimate goal is to kind of just enhance the Chow Garden, not um, like make it super modded. You know, I'll, I'll, I might go into like some character skins eventually, or some more um, like crazy mods, I guess. But uh, overall, I kind of want the game to still feel vanilla and feel like Sonic Adventure, which is why the Dreamcast Gardens are the feature I was most looking forward to. So we're not actually going to hatch any of these eggs, because these eggs are actually for the exclusive Chow Garden series for adult Chow and Chaos Chow members of this channel. If you're interested in becoming a member, um, some of the details of that are just going to flash on the screen here for a little bit. Helps out the channel a lot if you want to support uh, and become a member. The uh, adult Chow and Chaos Chow members will get access to the exclusive Chow Garden, uh, which is a different video series I'll be doing, which um, will involve the Chow and the Hero Garden there. Hey, Kenzie. Uh, yeah, one of those eggs is actually Buddy Kenzie, so uh, get ready for that exclusive uh, Chow Garden series that will be coming pretty soon. So we're not going to spend too much time in this stream actually with these Chow, just because, largely because Willy is ready to mate, and I don't really want to do that quite yet. I think we'll wait for that um, till the next part. So we're not actually going to spend a whole lot of time with the Chow in our regular series in this live stream. More what I want to do is kind of mess around with the mods, have some fun, and create some chow just for this live stream that we can mess around with and have some fun with the stats. Also, one of the additions to this mod that doesn't impact uh, you, the viewers, actually probably a whole lot, um, but I'm I'm not actually clicked on to the game right now, and I'm still, like, the game doesn't freeze up. So in past live streams, anytime I clicked on, like, YouTube, or tried to like do anything outside of Sonic Adventure, the game would freeze up. But this mod made it so it no longer does that, which is awesome because now I can click stuff and you guys can still hear the Sonic music. You guys can still see Sonic kind of sitting there looking at his bounce bracelet, being a weirdo. Willie's been waiting days to meet. Willie has been. Willie, Willie's being real patient, and I really appreciate that he's doing that. So yeah, we have Chow World Extended. I'll go into some more features of that mod um, pretty shortly. But first, I want to introduce the Chow Fusions Editor, or Fusions Chow Editor, which I have used in past videos. I made a video a while ago on how to mod the Chow Garden, which was pretty much just Fusions Chow Editor. So we're going to use that to add some Chow to the Dark Garden 
that we can have some fun with. So let's see. Are you able to use Sonic character in this mod? Um, are you able to use Sonic character in this mod character? Not. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm not too sure what your message is saying there. Butter, butter, you're making popcorn? That's awesome. That sounds great. Um, sorry, I missed your message, Natasha. I'm scrolling back up here a little bit. Was this mod hard to install? Been waiting to get it, but I'm scared. It's actually not too hard so far, or at least everything I've got installed didn't really take too long. Um, can you mod the Xbox version? I don't believe you can. I know with the GameCube version, I think the Dreamcast one, you can mod it with an action replay, but uh, I don't know if there's anything you can do for the Xbox 360 or PS3 versions. So anyways, um, I'm just quickly on another screen right now. I'm going to add another chow to this garden. We'll go with the new egg at the dark garden. We'll just quickly exit and re-enter. Purple chow? We can make a purple chow. We'll make this chow purple here. Following uh, Yoshi Liam, I think was what your name was from the last live stream. Um, so there should be an egg around here somewhere. Here it is. All the way at the top up here. Let's hatch this egg. So this one wasn't here before. All right, shake that egg, and let's see what we get. Probably just gonna be a plain regular. Oh, can you make Sonic any characters not inside the game? So yes, um, there are character skins you can download. I don't think I have any of them downloaded at this moment, but eventually I think it would be pretty fun to add some different characters to the game. Maybe come into the garden with Big the Cat, or Silver, or uh, I don't know, whoever, you know? So that's pretty exciting. I think being Cream the Rabbit would be pretty cool, or uh, to call would also be a pretty fun one to bring into the Chow Garden. So here's this Chow. Let's do some fun stuff with this Chow here. Let's see. Can you mod the Xbox version? I don't believe you can, as far as I know. So let's see, what should we change with this Chow? Let's make this Chow really fast. Let's go level. For swimming, we'll make swimming 5,000. There we go, this chow is gonna be the fastest swimmer in the world. You can see his stats are slowly leveling up here. Oh, the game freeze. Oh no, <laughs> might have lost the game. Oh no, Vector, yeah, we could go into the garden as Vector. Oh no, the game crashed. Oh crap, darn it. Well. Oh, whoa, I just realized that my mic was going none of that time that I was talking there. <laughs> Sorry, I've been talking for like the last minute without realizing that my mic was not going. So I'm going to type a chat. Or I'll just leave it, you guys will figure it out in like five seconds. But, uh, and now my game's crashing again! Oh my. So, this is a... Uh, yes, I was muted there, Ramen. Uh, Alright, well let's try one more time. I'm not too sure what's going on. It was... You guys saw it was running there briefly for uh, a little bit. <laughs> we'll get it working here again right away. Just give me one second here. Okay, this time I'm just gonna let it do its thing and try not to let it crash. Okay. Epic start to the stream. Yep, we got a game crash already, doing great. Chaos Zero would be cool in the garden. I agree with you, Cat Grays. Getting Chaos would be really cool. And the game's crashing again. Oh no! What did you do to mod Sonic Adventure 2 on PC? I installed Chow World Extended. I already had Fusion's Chow Editor, but uh, I don't know if we'll be able to use Fusion's Chow Editor. Uh, the Chow Editor seems to be causing some issues here. We'll see. I didn't think that the Chow Editor usually caused these issues. Yeah, so let's try this one more time here, and then if it doesn't work this time, I will change some settings around to try and get it working. Okay. All right, we need to make it past this screen. Okay, we got the cutscene going. All right, that's some improvement. That's something. 
That's something. Game's starting here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Awesome. Alright, we got the game going again. Sorry for that uh, interruption there. Maybe we'll hold off on using the chow editor for a little bit. And just kind of show off some of the uh, features here for a little while of this mod. So, sorry for that delay. Hopefully that doesn't happen again in the stream. But so we looked at the Dreamcast Gardens. We'll go into the Kindergarten here. There's uh, a new bulletin board here with some credits. So, big shout out to all of the mod makers here. Appreciate what you're doing. Keeping this game exciting and new. Despite this game being almost 20 years old, I think. So... That's really impressive. But uh, into the black market. The black market brings some pretty interesting things here that uh, are not normally in the game. Or Chow Extended. So I believe right now I have it set to just eggs. So we have every single egg type available to us. Shiny black egg. All of these types. That is pretty awesome. As you can see, my rings are maxed out. That's something I did with the uh, Chow editor. If you're wanting to max out your rings, that's how you do that. But by pushing number two, I believe here, the number two key. There we go. I believe now we have access to all the fruit. I don't totally know what some of these do. Like these ones, blue fruit, pink fruit, green. Animals love this. I don't, I don't totally know what this does. Like if you actually give this to like rabbits or skunks or condors or if your child eats this I, I don't know i'm confused intelligence fruit and mint candy again i don't totally know what this one does it is 20 years old it came out in 2021 wow um yeah we got the shiny black egg yeah the shiny black egg sound kind of redundant not sure why did you choose to go back to this channel not to the other one just because this channel had more of a following when the child plays came on but um, this fruit is one of the big reasons I wanted to get this mod, the shiny fruit. Uh, I kind of want to try it out this series, but part of me also wants to save it for the next uh, episode. But we are trying out this mod. Might as well do at least uh, one mod related thing to the series. And by pushing the number four key here, we get access to all of the hats that you can buy, including the wool hats. So that's pretty cool. And pacifier, I'm not totally sure what this does. I noticed there was one code that existed that we could put on that I think basically once you give the child a pacifier, they'll immediately start to recarnate. So that's a thing. And these lenses, they allow you to change your child's eye type. So if we wanted a hero child to have some evil eyes, we could give them this. Can you please get purple chow? see we'll get some chow here in this live stream pretty soon uh they probably won't stick around in any of our series though just because um all those spots are for the most part allocated and i don't really want to have too many modded chow in our main series if i am modding a chow in our main series it's only just to try and get a chow that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get such as like a jewel chow or a shiny two-tone chow you know i'm not going to be using these mods to spawn in a chow with all s stats and like 9,000 skill for like swimming or something. Uh, I'll be doing that for this live stream just because this is like a fun little live stream that we're just doing for this. But going forward in the series, everything I want to be, uh, for the most part, completely legit. So I will buy a purple egg. Ethan was asking for that. So we will get the purple egg here. And we will go to the dark garden, but then I want to bring that shiny fruit to the main garden and try it out on our new two-tone shiny from the last episode. We never actually named that Chow yet. Um, I got a lot of good suggestions in the last episode. Don't worry, I have looked at all of them. And in the next actual Chow Garden, like main series episode or part, we will be going through and naming that Chow. But for now, I just want to try out this shiny fruit with wherever that Chow is. Here it is. So let's try this. Let's see if this makes it into a normal shiny two-tone rather than a bright Chow. Oh, and one also really cool thing about this mod that I haven't gotten seen at all yet because we haven't really actually been around all that many chow is it adds extra details and actions and like emotes to the chow, which I think is awesome. They make kind of different noises occasionally. Uh, I saw two chow having a conversation earlier when I was playing, which was really interesting because they don't normally do that. So, oh, yes, there we go. Look at that shiny Two-toed! Oh my gosh, that looks so much better than a bright chow. 
Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool that Chow World Extended can do that. Also, Astro, let's make sure you don't get too close to Willy on accident. Also, there's a rubber, rubber duck there. I don't totally know what this does. Let's see, maybe uh, put a Chow on it. I'm not totally sure what this is for, but you guys also probably noticed there's some extra flowers around the garden that aren't uh, are normally not here. But let's go into the races. So that shiny fruit works. That was awesome. That was really cool. I'm really happy with how that worked. You've always wanted a purple shiny tails chow. Is it possible? I'm not sure. We could try it out this episode with some modding. Hopefully uh, we'll get the chow editor working again and won't have crashing and we can try that out. Cat craze, yeah, that two-tone shiny is a gorgeous chow. That is so nice. I never had a shiny two-tone in an HD version of the game before because usually they're only available in the GameCube version, so. The HD graphics, dang, they look awesome. I am very excited to get some more shiny two-tones in this series. We'll definitely be getting more, that's for sure. I think the Chow could hold hands in this mod. I wouldn't be surprised if they could. That does seem in line with some of the other stuff I've seen. So, my game's freezing up right now. Uh oh Hope we're not getting another crash. Okay, no, we're good. All right, sometimes the game just does that. It kind of freezes for like a second. But uh, we're all good to go. So one thing I want to show off, it's one of the codes that I turned on that I personally think was really interesting and honestly should have been in the base game to begin with, is there's a code that makes it so anytime your Chow races, it might be for Karate 2, but I think it's just racing, your Chow will actually level up its stats while it's racing. Am I keeping the Purple Chow within the series? No, I'm not. Sorry, Ethan. Any Chow that are introduced in this episode or this like live stream are just going to be in this live stream. This is just to kind of mess around, have some fun with mods, get some feedback on the mods that you... Uh, that you guys think are interesting and you guys want in the series. So anyways, as I was saying the, this here, so Willy, we're gonna do a swim race. So Willy Swim is currently level 38 and 611. So let's try and remember that, 38 and 611, and we're gonna do a crab pool race. And I don't know if it happens if the Chow loses. I've only ever tried it with a winning Chow, so we'll see. I mean, Willy's definitely gonna win this, but Willy's swim stat should level up by the end of this at the end of the race, so that's pretty exciting. Am I the only one weird up Astro's head? Astro's head is a little bit weird. As Astro's gotten a little bit older, Astro's head does look weird. You are not the only one, Blue Blaze. <laughs> Cat Craze, really want a Dreamcast copy of this game one day, but it's in the 80 to $100 range. Wow, I didn't know that. It would be cool to have a Dreamcast version of the game. I've always been really interested in the Chow, I think it's called like the Memory, unit or something. I'm not really sure. It's like the Dreamcast equivalent of like connecting the Game Boy Advance, uh, like in the GameCube. And I think it's called the Virtual Memory Unit or something like that. That's always sounded really interesting and uh, cool to me. All right, so Willy here wins the race. And let's see, the swim should go up. After like the, like, it's after this screen here, you'll kind of hear like a little jingle for like the level up sound. Just keep an ear out for it. Right there, see? So, now let's go check Dash is swimming. It might, I'm not totally sure if it's specifically the swimming stat. I think it is just because we did a swimming race. So yeah, there we go. So now it was 38 before, now it's 39. I think it was 611 before, and we're at 629. So that is pretty cool. It gives you more of an incentive to just repeat races and uh, spend more time actually racing. Because realistically, there's not actually a whole lot of races in the base game. But uh, it's pretty cool that it adds some more uh, utility to racing. And I'm also pretty sure this mod adds some new challenge races. I think they're only accessible once you beat the first round of tra uh, challenge races, so probably will be a little while till we get to try any of that out, but pretty exciting anyways. Will you be doing the code where the body parts extend when the stats get above 2,000, 3,000? We'll see, Cat Craze. I'll maybe try it out for a little bit, but to be honest, that's a little bit pushing it for me in terms of like keeping the game vanilla. I don't really want any child that look like absolutely crazy, but uh, I'm not totally against trying that out. Natasha, your dad has a Dreamcast copy, but you've been told the Chow Garden isn't as good in that version. I've never tried it. The gardens are definitely pretty cool, but uh, I'm not too sure about the rest of the Chow experience there. All right, let's go check the purple chat we brought down here. I'll try and get the editor going again, and we can try some interesting stuff on this chat here. We'll see. So let's hatch this first. 
got SA2 for free on Xbox. He did not like it very much because it wasn't as fun as SA1. Blue Blaze, I think SA1's story levels, uh, at least for Sonic games, are probably a little bit better, but I do think the Chao Garden's a lot better in Sonic Adventure 2. But sadly, the Xbox 360 and like PS3 versions of the Chao Garden are probably the worst to play, in my opinion. I can't really say too much about the Dreamcast ones, but uh, there's no modding on the Xbox 360 or PS3 versions, and there's no way to get Jewel Chao or the proper shiny two-tones, because uh, they don't have a Chao World Extended, so not too sure. Oh, sorry, did I read someone's name wrong? Oh, whoops, I think I mixed up Fui and Cat Craze. Sorry, it's hard to read the chat sometimes. Just trying to keep up with it, what everyone's saying. Uh, you bought a Dream Class not too long ago for a game shop. Supposedly worked and was broken. Oh, that's disappointing when you buy an older game and it's supposed to work and doesn't. It's happened to me a few times. All right, so anyways, let's try opening up that Chow Editor again. Hopefully the game does not crash. Actually, I think I'll save the Chow Garden data first. Just so we don't have to buy the purple Chow again. Also, one thing I noticed, the picture changes with this mod. So you see the little Chow picture up here? That's not the original picture. Normally it's uh, just a Chow sitting down making a pretty basic face. But here it's, uh, it's a little bit of a cuter, happier Chow. It's actually the same Chow picture I'm pretty sure I have on my channel background. So it's kind of interesting there. Okay, so let's go back to the Fusion Show Editor and turn this on. Okay, so we got it going. So I think I'll try and make some changes to the Chow before we actually go into the garden. Although for some reason that Chow, the purple Chow we made is not even showing up in the Chow Editor. What? Do we need to name it maybe? Did the Chow disappear? Where is it? I see a purple eggshell. Uh, okay, here it is. Why doesn't it show up on... This is weird. It's not showing up on my uh, my thing here. Oh, no, it is. Never mind. It just doesn't have a name, so it's a little bit hard. I'm just going to name you Glitch for now. You just typed it into the chat editor on the other screen. I'm pretty sure as soon as we exit the garden, we will... Uh, it'll show up in the chat editor for me. Oh, and one other thing too, uh, customize. I forgot to show this off. So hats, it shows off any hats that you currently have in any of your gardens. So most of these eggs are actually in the normal chow garden. I think this was the only one that's not. But you can just put hats on your chow through this. And if your chow has multiple medals from races, you can also add those on here too. And I think some of these are uh, medals that you can't normally get in the game. I'm pretty sure these four bottom gems aren't normally in the game. Same with uh, this one. Whatever this is, it kind of looks like an opal. Looks pretty cool though. Mika Hotshot, thank you for the super chat. Their message is also hope you enjoy this five dollars. And you are currently at work, but you'll be checking in spirit. Thank you so much for the super chat. If uh, I know you said you're uh, checking or you're not really able to watch a series, or sorry, not the series, this episode or this live stream. But if you got any quick requests for a glitched chow or a specific weird chow type like a shiny jewel with like really high run status or something like that comment it real quick and i will definitely make your suggestion here in the stream you might not be able to watch it now because it might take me a few minutes to get set up but uh if you can get that chat in there i'll definitely try and uh get that chow going for you here and you can rewatch it later if you uh if you got time or whatever's going on hey nelsey thanks for watching cat craze got a lot of you here I like Sonic Adventure 2 also. Since you're in Chow Edit, can you do the Purple Chow status grade on Fly 6007? Okay, let's see. Before we get into the crazy stats, we will do that. I will make the, the flying stat 6000, and we can even try putting the Chow at the very top of that hill up there to see how high they fly. But first, I want to try and mess around with the appearance a little bit, because I'm worried the stats are... that like changing the stats is going to glitch it out too much. So I just changed it to two-tone there. So you can see now it's a purple two-tone. We got the pink tips there. It's one of the cool things to the Chow Editor is you can edit the Chow in real time, which is pretty awesome. So, oh, you're playing on the PS3, uh, P PS3 now. See, that's cool. That's cool. I'm curious as to how many of you guys uh, play along with Chow uh, during my streams and videos. Be interesting. 
interesting to hear back from you guys about that. Should do a gold jewel chow. Yep, we'll try that out. I think I got a request from that for someone else too. Or I think it was like a shiny purple tails chow with something someone else requested. So we got this purple chow here. Uh, let's try it. Let's make it shiny. Okay, so that turned into a bright chow, so maybe make it not shiny because I don't want a bright chow. Because then I'll have to go buy another fruit. Let's see, what other... Ooh, mouth. Let's change the mouth. Let's give it an open mouth. What's that look like? Okay, I don't think it reset. Let's quickly exit the guard and come back. Purple chow is a pretty cool color. Pretty cool chow. Let's see. Where is this chow? Oh, all the way up here. All right. Ooh, and it's got that open mouth. <laughs> what an awesome looking chow here. I love that you can change the mouse. I think that's something I'll probably go back and do with uh, some of our other chow that we already have in the series is edit their mouse a little bit. Cause some of the ones that you get like default or at least the ones I've seen in the beginning anyways are a little bit more boring. So I think it's a little bit exciting to uh, add some different, uh, some expressions there. Let's see, eyes too, we can change them. Let's try, what's closed up eyes? Let's see, does it change right away? Okay, closed up. It's closed happy, what's closed happy? I'd assume that's closed happy to me, but that was closed up. Oh, what, that's not closed happy, that's like a pretty sad chow. I don't know what you're talking about, the same face they make when they're, uh, when they're dying. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's try tiny eyes. What's tiny eyes look like? You used to play a long low life on the old series, but your GameCube's not with you anymore. Ah, it's at your mom's house, darn it. Yeah, I let the open as this child looks like it, like, saw something horrible. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's just been traumatized. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor chow. This chow looks like it, like, saw a god or something, like, something, saw, like, something, like, bigger than life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give it sleepy eyes? Okay, let's try that out. Um, is there sleepy eyes? Um, none of the options are specifically called sleepy. Let's try closed straight eyes. What a closed straight. Oh, that's interesting, okay. I haven't seen one of those. Let's try mean. What do mean eyes look like? Oh, wow, we got a bully chat. Looks like he's shouting at you. Give me your lunch money. Jeez. <laughs> I like messing around with these. We also got emotion balls we could change. We'll give it a flame. Sure, why not? Body type two. Oh my gosh. We can turn this chow into Omo chow. Oh my god. That was horrifying. An animal egg chow. None. <laughs> There's a body type option for none. Just basically gets rid of the chow. It's back to normal there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been a while since I messed around with all these. This is uh, this is more fun than I remember. Let's see. What are some other fun stuff we can do with this chow? Let's see. Hmm. Let us... Someone asked earlier for us to make a... Uh, shiny purple tails chow. Let's try that out. Or I think maybe it was a shiny purple jewel tails chow. I can't totally remember. Make a knuckles chow with that face. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. We'll definitely uh, look into that. Uh, I tried to turn the purple chow into a tails chow, although I'm not seeing him now. Did the chow disappear? Uh. Oh, I put the chow into the other garden on accident. Whoops. Move them to the dark garden. It's also pretty cool. You can move around Chow just like a click. You don't actually have to move them around. Oh, you mean the sleepy eyes, the ones I mentioned the last... Okay, I get what you mean, Ramen. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Let's see. Maybe I can do that with the Tails Chow here. Oh, there we go. And we got a Tails Chow. So, this is the only way to get character Chow that I know of in the PC version, or... Pretty much any version, I guess, besides the GameCube or Dreamcast. Actually, I'm not even sure if you can in the Dreamcast. I know GameCube you can with the uh, Fancy Starlight. Oh, and it's even got the uh, the two little tails, just like tails. Uh, how you hack Sonic Adventure 2 on console or emulator? I don't believe you can on console, at least not um, the PS3 version, anyways. But this is on. This isn't even an emulator. You might be able to use an emulator. I'm not too sure. But this is the Steam release here that I'm doing. 
And we got a cute little Tails Chow here. So let's try messing with the colors here. Someone asked that we try making this Chow a shiny Jewel Chow. So let's see. Or I think it was a Jewel Purple. So there's a Purple Jewel Chow. Purple Jewel Tails. I think that was something that someone asked for. There you go, pretty interesting. And let's try, I wanna add back that purple chow too, even though we just got rid of it. But uh, someone asked that we make that chow have crazy good flying. So let's do that, cause I forgot to do that real quick before I turned the purple chow into a tails chow. Do I have enhanced uh, chow world installed as well? I have chow world extended, I'm not sure if that's the same thing you're talking about, Viper, but that, uh, I have Chow World extended here. Oh, you can just, you might be able to hear that Chow noise there. That's a different sound I don't think normally occurs in Chow. Also, whoa, I saw a Chow flying there. I almost hit the Chow as it was flying. Hope I didn't. I'm not sure if Chow just wiped out on their own or what happened there. I really hope I didn't, uh, jump into the Tails Chow on accident. I didn't even realize they were flying. I'll try and find this egg that I spawned in. I'm not, oh, I probably put it in the wrong garden. I keep doing that, I keep putting it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I keep, put, it puts it in the neutral chow garden by default, so I keep putting everything in there on accident. All right, let's go back in. I make it two-tone? Okay, we'll see. I'm not sure what this will actually look like if we make the tails chow a two-tone. And where did that egg go? Am I blind? Did I miss it? What? Oh, oh my gosh, I jumped on the Tails Chow on accident. Oh my gosh, Tails Chow, I am so sorry. That was a complete accident. Also, look at this egg, because I made it in purple two-tone. The egg has turned purple. That's interesting. All right, the Tails Chow seems to be okay. It's a pretty strong Chow. Is there a Knuckles Chow? Yep, there is. We can add one of those here too right away. And I'm actually going to go and change the Tails Chow's happiness and raise it up a little bit to make up for the fact that I just jumped on him. And wow, this Chow did not come through purple like I originally thought. Just the egg, I guess. So let's go through here and make it purple ourselves. Purple. There we go. We got purple two-tone. And someone asked to make the fly really good. So let's try level 99. And we'll make it, I think it was like 6607. That Ethan asked for. Oh no, is this gonna. Oh, I crashed the game again! No! So, raising the chow stats really high does not seem to be like something we can uh, mess with too much during this live stream because <clears throat> we've tried it twice now and both times it sadly crashed our game. So, let's not do that again, but I do wanna still mess around and try and get some cooler. Um, some cooler rare chow types. So, and I might also turn on an extra mod here too, real quick. I'm gonna turn on a mod that's supposed to turn the gardens into the uh, Station Square gardens, or the gardens from Sonic Adventure DX. So I'm not totally sure how this mod works. This one's a, my first time trying it. So we'll see what happens here. Hopefully the game doesn't crash right away like it did the last few times. Open back up the chat, and there we go. Okay. Is there a silver chow? Yes, there is a silver jewel chow. Okay, sorry Mr. Message Viper. Uh, it's another mod that works well alongside Extended. I recommend giving it a look for all the improvements it adds when you got time. Sure, I'll definitely check that out. And thank you, Fui, for the $1 super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Super sticker. I didn't know that was a thing. It's a... Sent a little peach. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you for your support to all the members, to the two people that have done a super chat or a super sticker this stream. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Okay, so let's go back into the garden and let us. Oh my. It actually worked! Holy, it is the egg carrier chow garden. This is awesome. I've always thought the chow gardens in the first song adventure were so cool. In particular, this one. I've always thought this chow garden was probably my favorite, actually, of all of them. Even when you take into account the Sonic Adventure 2 Dreamcast ones. 
it's really cool. I like how big it is. Um, although the size of it does have some downfalls and that it sometimes is really hard to find your chow. Uh, for example, right now, still haven't actually seen either of them. There they are. Got purple chow. Yeah, it's defaulted back to its uh, regular stats. And I think that's actually all we have here. I don't think we have the tails chow at all <laughs> anymore. So that is awesome. I can't believe uh, that mod works. That is so cool. Okay, I want to try out the other gardens now. Um, how did I actually get in here? Was it through this door? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know how to get out of the garden. Alright, uh, let's try Hero first. I'm guessing this one will probably be the Mystic Ruins garden. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. There's some eggs up here from the uh, exclusive Chow Garden series available to adult Chow members and Chaos Chow members. So, if you're interested in seeing what these eggs eventually hatch into, make sure to become an either become either an adult Chow member or a Chaos Chow member. So these gardens are awesome. I did not, I didn't even know like the SADX gardens were available in this game until today. This is like a brand new thing for me here. We've got a super sticker from Lauren. I think it's a super sticker. I don't totally know. I think it's super sticker. Thank you, Lauren, for the super sticker. Got uh, a lot of very nice uh, viewers here today with all the super chats and the super stickers. Thank you very much, Lauren. And Flea earlier for your super sticker. Really appreciate it. Yeah, the, the Chow's not a Tails Chow anymore just because uh, the editor crashed before I was able to save the Chow Garden data. But dang, the neutral Chow Garden, this is pretty cool. And look, we can see some of the different emotions that the Chow are doing. So Tide right now is kind of, even though Tide was sleeping, Tide was kind of kicking their feet a little bit weird. I don't think that's usually in the game. See, look at that. The heads are like tilting a little bit while they're sleeping. Chow World Extended is awesome. I didn't realize all these features are in this. I wish I had started the main Chow Garden series like episode one with uh, this mod. There's some really, really cool stuff here. So let's go back to one of the other gardens because we don't want to mess around with the uh, the main Chow series too much. Is there an Espio Chow? Not as far as I know. No problem, Lauren. Thanks for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. If there's any custom chow you want, Lauren, let me know real quick. I'm not sure if you're sticking around the stream long, but uh, if you want me to try and create a chow here for you, let me know. I can make any type of chow in a matter of seconds, so give me uh, your suggestion there. Same with Fui. Fui, if you got any uh, suggestions there for the custom chow, let me know. So let's see. Uh, where is this chow? Dark Garden. So we got the two-tone purple. We'll just keep that chow in here for now, but let's introduce some character chow. I'm gonna go, we'll introduce an Amy chow, Knuckles chow, Tails chow, sure. Let's introduce three of them. Oh, also one thing with this mod that I forgot to mention that we haven't even seen yet is I added a code that allows you to have up to 16 chow in a single chow garden. You can normally have only eight. So 16 is pretty crazy. You want me to surprise you with a custom chow? Okay. We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. So here we go. We got the character chow. We got Amy chow. The red dress there. Let's see. Where are the other one? See? That's a new chow expression. You don't uh, normally hear that in the vanilla game, I don't think. How do you go to the Chow Doctor in Sonic Adventure DX? There is no Chow Doctor in Sonic Adventure DX. Uh, the only way to find out your Chow grades is just to give your Chow uh, animals or fruits and just kind of guess based on how much the, uh, the like, what's it? What am I trying to say here? Like how much the stack grade goes up, I guess. So if you level them up once and your Chow gets like 25 points, you know, they probably have an S. But if they get like 15, you know, they probably only have an E. Here's a Knuckles Chow. Looking pretty cool. Someone asked that we make a pretty funny face on the Knuckles Chow earlier, so let's give that a go. Let's go with the... Which were the weird eyes again? Uh, I think it was tiny eyes open. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Knuckles looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This this chow is <laughs> I love these eyes oh my gosh and Knuckles Mask is supposed to be open right now too but 
Or right, we'll try re-entering the garden, maybe that will fix it. But then those eyes, those eyes kill me. Was that a tails chow? Yes, that was a tails chow. Uh, somewhere, somewhere in the garden there's a tails chow. Earlier we had a different modded one that was uh, purple. Uh, well, first we'll go to Knuckles, and there's a tail just chow over there in the distance. Did the mouse switch to open? There we go. <laughs> there, there's Knuckles. Oh my gosh. Knuckles fought in the war. Yeah, Knuckles has seen some stuff. He's had a, a rough go of things. Unlike Sonic, he does not chuckle. He he gets PTSD. And, uh, poor Knuckles, jeez. Okay, and here's the Tails Chow Lauren is asking about. Cute little Tails Chow. We'll change the name of the Tails Chow for, for Lauren. We'll call it Lulu. Let's see, I don't know if the name will immediately update. Let's see. Nope, let's re-enter the garden though. So I think for the next little bit, I'm just gonna basically make a whole bunch of custom chow up till we hit the limit of 16 and just kind of see what happens. And be in this garden full of a whole bunch of kind of wacky, crazy chow. And, oh no, for some reason the name didn't change. Oh, maybe now, well, there we go, Lulu. So there you go, Lauren, thank you for your uh, super sticker. There's a, uh, a custom chat for ya. Flee with another super chat. Or before it was a super sticker, I think. He chuckled, so here you go. Thank you so much for these $10 super chat. Oh my gosh. If you got any chow suggestions you want here, Flee, let me know. I will uh, try and make something you like. I'm sorry I can't mess with the stats or uh, too much or else the game will crash. But yeah, there's, there's Lulu for uh, lore in there. See. No mod for Sonic Shuffle. I don't think I've ever actually played Sonic Shuffle. Knuckles has seen the Master Emerald Shattered too many times. Yeah, <laughs> that's what those eyes are for. That's like the face he made when he first saw it get shattered, like right at the start of Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> okay, let's see. What what are some other fun chow uh, ideas we can have here? So, just started a new chow. We'll go... Maybe we can make some fancy Chaos Chows. I don't think I've actually ever recorded a video that actually has Chaos Chow in it, except for my, like, Chow Tips Secrets video. And even then, it just kind of explains the process of a Chaos Chow. You don't really see a whole lot of gameplay of one, so... Maybe we'll do Chaos Chow. Oh, Flea, you say, the only thing I want to see is some shiny Jewel Chaos Chow. We're on, like, the same, same wavelength there. You wanted a shiny... Uh, Chaos Chow? Shiny Jewel Chaos Chow? I was just thinking about making a Chaos Chow, so... I'll save my uh, wavelength there. Got the same thoughts. Okay, here's our egg. We'll hatch it nicely, because we're, uh, good Chow Razors. You may have to watch this later if it lags again, Robin. Hopefully it's not lagging too much for you. I'm hoping the connection's good for everyone. What happens if you breed the Tails Chow with anyone? I don't believe the character Chow can actually breed. That's something good uh, to try. I didn't even think about that. But uh, also, what is Amy doing over there? Do you see Amy in the distance? Amy's like flying up against uh, like that building over there. I'm not sure what Amy was doing. Okay, we got this Chow here. Let's make this Chow into a Chaos Chow. Let's see, how do we go about doing this? All right, this will take me probably a second to figure out here. I haven't actually made a Chaos Chow with this mod before, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. We can do so many other cool things. It would be a little bit weird if we couldn't make it a Chaos Chow. Let's see. Hmm. Curious of the limits of an Invisible Chow. Oh, there's a ton of Invisible Chow, like, suggestions here. Okay, I'll quickly make this Chow briefly an Invisible Chow just so you can see what I'm talking about here before we make a Chaos Chow. There are, like, a ridiculous amount of, like, potential invisible chow you can create with this mod. So this is a salmon-colored one. Let's try plum. There's plum. Kind of a nice blue. I like the plum one. Uh, let's try green-yellow. It's a green invisible chow. You can see Sonic's eyes through there. So that's pretty cool. Where do chow go when they die? In the code of chow heaven, I guess. I'm not totally sure. Oh, turquoise chow? See, that is so cool. Invisible Chow are awesome, so it's a little bit of uh, an example there for you, low life. There's a lot of potential for Invisible Chow, but we're going on to, there's also, let's see, wait, um, what, why is this Chow not invisible now? 
I like, picked a, a different invisible one. Oh, what? Let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Now fully invisible. We actually had one chow like this in the last chow garden series. But let's try and make this chaos chow now that Fui wanted. Sorry, I got distracted there with all the cool transparent stuff. So let's see, how do I make this into a chaos chow? Hmm. Also, wow, there's a lot of different textures you can put on your chow. What is this? This chow, whoa. This is supposed to be the texture of log rings. You can see that's, that's true there. Canyon wall. Interesting, there's a whole bunch of uh, really weird things. Rainbow, oh my, rainbow. We've got a rainbow chow here. I don't know if I'd say it's fully rainbow. This looks like it's just kind of blue, pink, and purple. Some white in there. Plum was really cool, yeah. Plum, uh, plum, plum was a pretty cool color. So, so what is this one? I just saw an Omo Chow color. What? Where did that one go? Oh, maybe I read it wrong. Oh, there's like uh, over a hundred. Oh, Omo Chow X. Let's try this one. There's like over a hundred different colors to pick for the texture here. So this is Omo Chow X, whatever that is. Just kind of a weirdish pink. It's kind of weird. It like the texture moves as you turn. It's kind of like looking in a mirror a little bit. A little bit weird. Okay, sorry. I keep getting distracted from the fact that we're trying to make a chaos chow here for Fui. Let us, or let me see here what I can do to make that happen. So this chow is normal. How do we make this into a chaos chow? Let's see. I'm not totally sure. Oh, there we go. So it said chaos chow, Fui. I'm not too sure specifically which one you want. I'm gonna go with the hero chaos chow for now because I think the hero chaos chow is pretty cool. So you can see right now the Chow only has the Chaos Chow uh, kind of emote ball, I guess. Although in this case it's a Halo. So we're going to quickly exit and re-enter the garden. I think that should fix it. Do you know where I can find out how many emblems I need for each color Chow in SADX? Uh, why? You should be able to find that on Chow Island. Uh, if you Google Chow Island, it should be the first website that pops up. On there, it's, I know for SA2, it definitely has all the emblem accounts uh, required for eggs, but it should also have the SADX emblem requirements too. Okay, here's our hero Chaos Chow. So, it's walking, which is a little bit sad. So let's, uh, so you, what color did you say you wanted? Sorry, I'm gonna scroll back up through the chat. Uh, some shiny jewel Chaos Chow, okay. So let's make a shiny, it turns it into a bright Chow. So we'll have to, before we make it into a jewel chow, let's quickly give it a bright uh, fixing fruit to try and uh, make it not look like a bright chow. Make it look a little bit prettier. There's no mod for Cosmo in Sonic Adventure 2. Are you right? Uh, I'm not too sure specifically what you're asking. Um, I don't think there's a mod specifically made for Cosmo. Not too sure what you're asking there, sorry. Does the mod add a burning halo? I don't think this mod specifically does, but we can see. I, I think it only has, um, I think it only has the regular like flame balls. So I'm not too sure about that. Okay, so we got this fruit here. Let's go, where is that hero chaos chow? Before it was over here. Okay, here we are. So let's give it this fruit, and then it will look a little bit less bright and kind of crazy there. Oop, let's pick that up. There we go. Keep eating, there you go. Hey, Lucky Boy Gaming, thanks for tuning into the stream. Can you make an orange Sonic Chow? Yep, that's something we can do here soon. I'm gonna try and fill up this garden full with some pretty weird ones. Starting off with uh, Fui's suggestion, just because Fui uh, gave a super chat. And oh my gosh, shiny two-tone showers, so cool. I just can't get over how how nice they look in the HD version. That is awesome. Okay, so let's make this a jewel chow now. Let's go, let's see. What color of jewel should we make it? Hmm. Let's try Jewel Sky Blue. That sounds pretty cool to me. So, 
hasn't changed yet, but if we quickly re-enter the garden, I think it should. That's a good point, low life. Flame ball for one of the chow textures. I'll have to see. That'd be kind of interesting having a fire chow or like a flame chow. Uh, oh, the jewel chow texture didn't change on it. Weird. Uh, why did that happen? Hmm. Why are you not turning into a jewel chow? Let's see. Huh. I'm not sure why this chow is not a jewel chow. I picked jewel color. Maybe it's the shiny that's thrown out. Right, let's take off two tone. Because I don't think you can have two tone jewel chow. Or I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's try re entering the garden, see if that fixed it. Try to get Fui's color. Or a uh, jewel, shiny jewel chow. Alright, I seem to keep respawning in the same spots every time. So it's a little bit easier to find them every time when we keep coming back in. Yeah, what is going on? Why is this chow not becoming a jewel chow? I am I'm sorry, Flea. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm hoping I can get this working, but I'm not sure what the issue is. Oh, I guess I just... Okay, so there we go. Now we got a jewel chow. I guess you... It's not letting me make a shiny jewel chow. I think maybe the editor knows that like it's a little bit of a glitchy chow. Because I think normally a shiny jewel chow would be invisible. So, can you try doing a transparent chaos chow? Sure. I can try doing that. I can also change it back to jewel though if you want, because I know this jewel chow looks pretty cool here. So let's see. Let's go with a, let's see. Oop, get rid of the jewel. There we go. We've got a pretty cool looking uh, transparent chaos chow there. Nice pink, I like that. It's a mortal it can't change. Yeah, it won't be able to take on animal parts or anything like that, but with mods we can change the color and do some pretty interesting stuff. So I'm going to actually quickly save here because I do want to try and edit the stats a little bit. I'm going to try not doing anything like crazy. We'll see. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. Oh, sorry, Raman. I missed your question there. What's your emblem count now? I'm pretty sure I'm in the low 100s. I think I'm at like 103 or 104. And what adventure game do you think has better music? I think Adventure 1 has better music overall, but I still like Adventure 2's music quite a lot. Maybe the fruit I gave it messed it up? That's a good point. Maybe the... Yeah, that's actually a good point why I couldn't make it a shiny jewel chow. I didn't think about that. That is a very good point. The aqua jewel in the Halo match. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Where is this chow? There we go. Yeah, that is a... A very nice looking chow. Also, we got a lot of members talking in this chat. I'm feeling special. <laughs> oh, Yoshi Liam, I hope your dogs are okay. They got in a fight. Yeah, you had trouble choosing the custom chows. Wasn't sure on color or texture. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick out a custom chow. Uh, Ethan, why was I absent for those years there? Uh, Honestly, university takes up a lot of time. I'm still in university right now, actually, but uh, I was just trying to spend more time focusing on other stuff in my life other than YouTube. And now I have a little bit more free time and uh, just been missing chow, so I decided to start making videos again. And that's the main reason there. Okay, so let's keep making some custom cool chow. Or, sorry, the reason I saved there is I wanted to make this chow a little bit better so that it's not just, like, walking around all plainly. So I'm going to try and adjust the stats, but I'm going to do them like very reasonable. Like I'm not going to make it like crazy powerful, like 5,000 like we did before. So um, I'm trying to pick out some reasonable stats. So we can see the child's walking, so I didn't crash the game yet. So it looks like just uh, stat raising only mixes up the chow if you make it, the stats like a little bit unrealistic. So that's interesting to know. That might even be something that's a part of Chow, uh, Chow World Extended to try and balance the game, maybe. I'm not totally sure about that. So I know I saw some codes that were put into place to kind of act as like anti-cheating measures, so... I don't think I turned any of those on, but maybe that's a reason why the game kept crashing there. Knuckles was flying in the background? Oh, I didn't even notice. I was too busy uh, trying to edit the Chaos Chow to be pretty fast and good at swimming and very powerful. Very, very powerful. Lost the shadow. Oh, someone's flying. I can see their shadow. 
I should come back in his tail so he can fly around. Look at this chow. Oh my gosh, he's dizzy. <laughs> this chow, uh, I guess it's flew in a circle too many times. Looks like uh, it's a little drunk or something. I'm not totally sure. Oh, climbing up the wall. What is going on with this chow? It's just walking around all dizzy. <laughs> this is pretty interesting here. Oh my gosh. What is going on? You okay, chow? We'll pick you up and save you there. So, the stats still looking a little crazy. Only a level 11 in power, but 3,500. So, I didn't go for exactly the most realistic uh, stats there. But, since 3,500 worked for power, let's try making the run that also. This is pretty close to about the fastest running chow you could get legitly. The fastest, or the highest stats you can get legitly are around 4,000, I believe. So... A little bit lower than that, but this is pretty fast. And for some reason they keep climbing up there. Maybe that's how they keep flying. They keep climbing up there and then just flying off that. Let's watch from a distance here. Oh, didn't even fly. Just just climbed up just to jump off. Any other chow up here? Nope, that's the Sonic. It's really glitchy up there. All right, let's keep making some cool chow. Let's see, what chow should we make next? I'm putting in a bunch of new eggs. There's just spawned in four new eggs here. I'm gonna quickly put them into the dark garden. And ramen, can people without super chats or membership request a uh, chow? Yep, they can for this stream, sure can. Um, for the exclusive chow garden series that will be starting pretty soon, that's just for adult and chaos chow members. And the chaos chow members can have their own uh, custom chow in the series. Alright, so we got some eggs here. I'm going to kind of manually hatch them, I think. Let's see, I don't know how well this will actually work. Let's see. Alright, I just set all the eggs to child. So let's see, maybe they'll all just start hatching immediately. Maybe nothing will happen. Well, maybe nothing happens. Okay, let's just re-enter the garden and come back in. Oh, there we go. All right, we should have a bunch of baby chow running right now. Okay, so if you guys got suggestions for one of these four baby chow, comment them now, and I will try and make them into, uh, I'll make the chow into what you're asking. One I do want to make myself, though, is a hero swim. I think it'd be really cool to have a hero swim swim. So I'm going to make one of these chow that. A gold chow with a silver helmet. Okay, I don't know if I can do the silver helmet, but I can do a gold chow. So let me turn one of these into a gold chow here. Sorry, it'll just be one second. Uh, jewel, where's gold? Hmm. Let's try that one. <laughs> Not too sure what. Oh, we got a silver chow over there. It's supposed to be gold. Let's see, shiny metal too. Is that gold? We can get a shiny metal chow. A little bit interesting there. You're working on a Chaos Chow right now, Wyatt. That's awesome. You want the orange Sonic Chow? Okay, I'll try and get one of those here. Let's see. I'm trying to find gold. I can't find a gold Chow. I'm sorry, Ramen. Uh, you have to give me a second here. Hmm. Not too sure why gold is not showing up. Let's see. Hmm. I'm sorry about that, Ramen. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to get your gold chow for some reason. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Let's try jewel yellow. Oh, okay. Apparently this is a yellow jewel chow. It's not called gold. It's called yellow for some reason. Even though it's very much not yellow. So let's turn this into a chaos chow now. Gold chow with a silver helmet and dark chaos. So we'll get gold, dark chaos chow. There we go. All right, someone else requested a hero fly. We can do one of those also. Hero fly. All right, I just changed one of our chow to be a hero fly. We'll have to look around for them. Oh, you're starting a D&D &D campaign. That's awesome, Low Life. Have fun with your family. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I hope you have fun with your D&D. &D. All right, so hero fly, set that up. Got another hero fly. 
Someone asked for Tails Chow. We do already have one Tails Chow in here. Someone asked for a Sonic Chow. That is Wyatt. Orange Sonic Chow. Neutral run. And we'll set it to, we'll make him an orange shiny two-tone. So now we have to exit the garden because I'm pretty sure most of what we just went through didn't work out super great. But, or most of what we just did, you have to exit the garden for it to become apparent. So let's see. We should have some of those chows. So here's our gold neutral, or not neutral, sorry, gold dark chaos chow. Looking pretty cool. Let me go change the eyes or the expression of this chow. Let's go with a open smile, sure. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. Smile was only there super briefly for some reason, but there you go. There's your chow ramen. Let's see, what other chow did we make? Let's go try and find him. So we're getting pretty full at this point. I still don't think we're up to eight chow quite yet in this garden, but we're definitely not too far off. Got the Amy Chow chilling. Oh, here's one of them. Someone asked for a Hero Fly Chow. There you go. Well, that is pretty cool. Tails Chow, Knuckles Chow. So many of these Chow are just sleeping, chilling. Just a cool Chaos Chow there in the distance. Oh, here's one of them. Oh, walked through the door on accident. <laughs> the gold Chaos Chow is always angry. <laughs> He is a he is a dark chaos child. They always do look pretty angry. Okay, where where is that Sonic child? I just saw him right over here. Oh, here we go. So I don't know why this child is showing up like this. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out which one this is. This one. okay. Neutral run. Why did this child turn out like this? Oh, because it's a two tone shiny orange child I made. All right, so we'll get rid of the shiny. Just so that uh, Chow isn't a bright Chow. But there you go, Wyatt. Your orange Sonic Chow. We can make it into an adult, uh, or a second evolution Sonic Chow here. Let's see, is petting the Chow reset or do you have to exit the garden? Okay, so if we exit the garden, come back in, that should turn into a second evolution Sonic Chow, which will be a little bit cooler in orange. If we can find it, there's a. Uh, Quite a lot to look at in this garden, it's very big. Uh, oh, here we go. Orange Sonic Chow. You can see, it's got the very downward spikes just like Sonic, or the second evolution. For some reason it kept, uh, oh wait no, the adult Sonic Chow I believe keeps the lines there. I'm not totally sure there. Hey Skeptic School uh, Studios. Fui, I'm glad that you showed off some of the colors that may help with the colors. I wasn't aware of all this mod and bright chow stuff works. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated if you've never actually uh, seen it really works it before. It's kind of uh, quite a lot to choose from. Uh, I can adjust like the age of the chow, the amount of reincarnations, their stats, their stat grades, animal abilities, the different lessons that they have. So I can te decide whether they know how to like s sing or dance or whatever. Um, I can change all their colors. Can add specific animal parts to them, which is pretty cool. How do you unlock Chow Karate? Uh, I'm guessing you're probably playing on Sonic Adventure 2 on one of the HD ports. If you don't have the Chow Karate unlocked by default, that basically means that you just don't have the battle DLC that uh, is available on Steam and on the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Store. So that's probably why you don't have it. All right, let's add in some more Chow. I wanna add in some uh, some funky ones. Let's see. So I'm gonna put in a new egg and we are going to make this chow a neutral chaos chow. And I'm gonna make its stats pretty good. I want more chow running around kind of crazily. So I think 3000 is the max stack rate that I seem to, or around 3000 seems to be the max stack rate I can add in without um, causing any major issues to the game or without it crashing. So I'm just gonna quickly set this chow stats all to 3,000. There we go, 3,000. And we will make this chow into a transparent chow, because transparent chow are pretty cool. When is the next normal on everything but GameCube? When is the next normal episode? The next normal episode should be coming in the next 
a few days, I'm not totally sure when. I am making a episode for the exclusive Chow Garden series for the adult Chow and Chaos Chow members, so that will be coming out first, but after that I will get to the main Chow Garden series, for sure. So let's see, where is this Chaos Chow I just created? I think I'm, did I maybe put it in the wrong garden again? Nope, I made sure to put it in the Chow Garden. Should be a neutral Chaos Chow running around here somewhere. So you got Dark Chaos Chow, Hero Chaos Chow, got the cool Sonic Chow. What's a purple two-tone transparent Chow look like? We can take a look at that here pretty soon. Just want to try and find this other Chow. Oh, we got two Hero Flies. Got this one and that one. I am not sure where this neutral Chaos Chow is. Hmm. I can't tell if it's like here and I am like just kind of missing it because the garden's so big. Or if it's that I messed up making it, it's actually like glitched out somewhere. Yeah, let's see what Tails is doing up here. I'm just jumping down, not going for any crazy flight or nothing. Alrighty. I don't know where this neutral chaos chow I made is trying or uh, is showing up. It's weird. Very strange. Ever seen the drowning mod? I have not. I'm not too sure what that is. The Fallen Pillar Clip? I'm not too sure what that is that you're talking about, Ramen. See, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm. Ugh, am I going crazy? Like, where is this Chaos Show? Maybe if we try re-entering the garden and coming back, it will show up. Or maybe we can do some racing, too. We'll try going to the races so we can see if the neutral Chaos Chow even spawned in. And then, um... We will also maybe do a quick race with the uh, one really powerful Chaos Chow we have. <laughs> have I heard about the new Sonic leaks? I have heard some rumors that there might be a Sonic uh, Adventure and Adventure 2 remake coming. I don't know how much I fully believe those, but uh, there's rumors out there, I guess. So our issue with why the Chaos Chow might not be spawning is actually because we're at the limit of 8. Even though I do have a code set to allow 16 chow. So we'll try making some more chow to test that. But part of the reason this might not be working is because I am creating the chow through the Fusion Chow Editor rather than actually uh, making the chow normally. But let's do a quick race with uh, this chow here just to see how fast 3500 actually is. I'll try Stump Valley. I think that will give us the uh, best, uh, best idea of how good this chow is of the beginner races. Fallen Pillar Glitch? Sorry, I'm still not really too sure what you're talking about, Ramen. All right, let's see, how fast does this go? Okay, so far, not too, not too crazy. Which stats I set to crazy high? I thought running was like super fast. I'm surprised they're not running faster. I thought it would have been... Running th that was running 3,000? Wow, I guess I need to lower my expectations. I thought this child was just gonna zoom like through it. I mean, they were still way faster than our course record and everything, but I've seen Chow go that fast before, so. I guess I just didn't set the running high enough. Probably should have gone like 5,000 or 6,000. I'm pretty sure in my how to mod Chow, uh, the Chow garden video, um, I'm pretty sure in that video I did show off a chow that had like 9,999 in like every stat. So if you're interested in seeing like a full on maxed out chow, you can go check out that video. Because it doesn't seem like we'll be able to do it here because for some reason the mod is crashing. So I think what we'll do, I think I'm going to take a quick break from the Sonic Adventure DX Chow Gardens. I'm going to quickly reset the game here. Don't worry, we'll be back in a second. And I'm gonna put back on the Dreamcast Gardens, just to kind of mix it up. And it'll make it a little bit easier for us to tell we actually have 16 Chow in the garden. Whereas with the really big egg carrier garden, it is kind of hard to tell that uh, we have 16 Chow because the garden's just so big, it's hard to really see what's even going on. Okay. All right, get the game started back up again. Sorry for all the delays here in uh, starting the mods and uh, starting the game and stuff. I'm sorry for the crashes earlier in the stream too. 
for those of you that were here for that. And it looks like we might be here for another game crash. I think I just uh, clicked the game a little too early. For some reason it does that. If I like click or move the game at all or try and push any button before the intro cutscene starts, usually it uh, has some kind of an issue. So I'll try again here. Just this time I won't uh, click or touch anything. I'm not sure why that is. It seems like if I can just get past that cutscene, then... But after that, it's usually pretty good, but uh, there are some issues with it starting up. Let's see, even including right now, it's not starting. Oh. oh, boy, what is going on? Come on, Sonic Adventure 2. Please start working. I don't want to end off the stream this way. The game not even starting. Would you make a separate Chow series if remakes for the Sonic Adventure games came out? Yes. <clears throat> that is something I would look into. It, a lot of it would ultimately depend on the quality of the games. I'll be honest, I'm not super confident uh, with most of the Sonic games nowadays. None of them, or at least ones that have come out super recently, I haven't had much interest in. So if they did, if they did the remakes well and they look like they're going to be really good games, I would give them a shot and try it out. But uh, if they ended up being not very good, I don't know if I'd do a series for them. Because I've already covered Chow so much uh, on my YouTube channel. Is it only funny to me that Shao Chow can have bunny ears? It is pretty funny, yeah. You can have a pretty cute Shadow Chow, even though it's supposed to be kind of edgy and uh, dark. <laughs> okay, so let's go back into the garden here. Hopefully got the Dreamcast Garden. Okay, there we go. Got that mod working still. Okay, so how many chow do we got? We got three with those. Four, five, six, seven. And I thought we had another flying chest somewhere. Eight. So, oh, and we're at nine. So we actually do have over eight chow. So that mod is working. For some reason, that Chaos Chow I just tried to spawn. Uh, decided to not spawn, I guess. So, that's weird, but... There we go, we have proof right here. We have more than eight chow in the garden. Unless I counted wrong. Hey Dawes, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing really good actually. I'm pretty sure that after the stream, or once the stream's over, I'm probably gonna go uh, get some Dairy Queen, I think. Or some A&W maybe. If I go to Dairy Queen, I'm definitely gonna get a Sunday. But uh, I'm trying to eat a little bit better, so. I'm not sure if I uh, should get a Sunday or if I'll uh, Maybe go with something uh, a little bit better. Maybe just eat at home. Not too sure, but uh, no, I'm having a great evening. This live stream's been a lot of fun. It's been nice talking to all of you and uh, messing around with the mods and stuff here. It's been a good time. We got a chow drying somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, over here. Stuck in a wall. <laughs> it's weird seeing like fully grown up chow uh, without any stats. With this mod, can you change the two-tone color matches? I know that is a thing with Chow World Extended. I don't know if the Fusion's Chow Editor actually has that capability, but uh, that is something that we could look into in the future. I don't totally know how to do that at the moment, but I am pretty sure that's a feature of the Chow World Extended mod, is that you can uh, mix around with the uh, two-tone color matches. So, right now I'm just trying to get a general view of all our uh, crazy Chow. Pretty exciting here. So I think we'll maybe make one or two more and we might be starting to approach the end of this live stream. Can I make a Reaper Chow? What kind of Chow is a Reaper Chow ramen? I don't know if I've heard of that. The smell is actually dope though. I would gladly switch this garden. Yeah, going forward, we're definitely gonna be using the Dreamcast gardens for this series, both the Dark and the Hero. I don't actually think the neutral Dreamcast gardens are any different. I don't actually have that one turned on even at the moment. I only have the Dreamcast garden set for these two the Dark and the Hero Garden, because uh, their differences are much more noticeable, and uh, they're pretty cool. Also, I've noticed this thing. Touch. Oh, it's for the tree. I've noticed this thing in uh, a few of the gardens. I don't know if this is supposed to be this, like, ring on the ground. I don't know. Let's head back out of here. Yeah, this mod's awesome. I'm having a good time with uh, Chow World Extended so far. Ooh, I might have to end the stream soon again. Pretty tired. I think I need to eat. <laughs> Pretty hungry, I haven't had dinner yet. Okay, so let's make one or two more custom chow and then we will uh, start to approach the end of this stream here. Oh, some chow are having a conversation somewhere. Oh. Let's 
So this is one of the things that Chow World Extended adds. I think it's pretty cool. Isn't there a day, evening, and a night cycle? There should be. I don't... I know when I installed this uh, Chow World Extended, it said there was, but I haven't actually noticed it yet since we've been playing this live stream. I don't know if just not enough times passed or if I maybe don't have it set up totally right. There's a pretty good chance I probably don't have it set up right, but yeah, there is supposed to be a day in a life, uh, or not day in a life, a day in a night cycle, sorry. You wish Chow could ride pool rings? Be interesting, yeah. I haven't seen one in the dark garden, though. I don't know if I'm just not seeing it somewhere, but, uh, hmm. Definitely saw one in the hero and the neutral garden, but, uh, it's not in the dark guard. No, uh, no pool rings or whatever that was. <laughs> okay, so let's go in. One more weird chow. It's probably the neutral garden that has the day and night cycle. That is true. It's a little bit hard to... I guess, yeah, dark garden, if it was day, it'd be a little bit weird. Maybe, maybe you are right that it's just the neutral garden. We haven't really been in there at all this stream, except for a couple of brief uh, visits, so... It makes sense that we hadn't seen that yet. Alright, my game. Uh oh it's freezing a little bit. We'll see. Hopefully it's, uh... Oh, okay, there we go. We're still good. Not, uh... Not glitching out too much yet. Okay. Now I think I want to mess around with some of the weird textures, uh, that we've seen. I think is what I will, uh, try and do with this next chat we're editing. Should be a baby chat around here somewhere. Let's see. Hmm. Where is this baby chow? Set it to the right garden. Uh, what? Oh, that was a big fall. Jeez. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe we did hit the limit. I'm not totally sure what's going on. I'm trying to add another, uh, another baby chow here that we can edit and mess around with, but, uh, not see they were. Hmm. I don't know keep disappearing. I can't, maybe I guess I can't create any more chow, but either way, we're still over eight, so I'm not sure. Can you play songs like in the old series during live streams? I, I'll look into it. Maybe one of the next live streams I'll try and start doing that. Also, one of our chow is talking its head off. I'm not sure which one it is. Is it these guys? Oh, they just shook hands. Did you see that? The tails chow and this purple chow? What at the purple chow? Because, uh, Purple Chow, uh, it's a little bit more basic compared to some of these other ones we've, uh, changed around. Let's see. Where is the Purple Chow here? Alright. Let us turn this Chow's texture into... Let's see, what are some, fun, uh, interesting texture options here? Blue and silver bolts. What is that one? Oh, that's a weird texture there. If there was a mod where you could add a chaos garden, like a hell and a heaven garden, like you said in one of your old episodes, that'd be so great. Yeah. It'd be really cool if there was a mod that added in, like, an, a fourth and a fifth garden. I think that'd be really interesting. Let's see. What are some other interesting colors? Mustard with white? <laughs> Mustard with white. Kind of looks like a tail's chow a little bit with the colors. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that is the coloring for a tail's chow. Where is our tail's chow? Also in there. Yeah, that's like almost the exact colorings of a tails chow. Whoops, didn't mean to drop you chow. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that coloring is meant for the tails chow. So that's interesting. Mustard with white is how they describe uh, tails' colors there. Let's see, any other weird ones? Let's try white and yellow. Wouldn't really call that white and yellow. That's much more of like a purple, but whatever. But yeah, I think we've covered most of the interesting Chow Garden mods that we will be using for Chow World Extended. We showed off the fruit that fixes bright Chow and turns them into normal Chow. We looked at both the Dreamcast and the Sonic Adventure DX uh, Chow Gardens. So that was uh, pretty exciting to see those. That was all stuff I'd never really seen before, so it's quite exciting. We made some cool invisible Chow here, especially uh, some pretty cool Chaos Chow too. You see right through you can see tails and we saw some of the new emotions that these chow have we saw some chow talking some of them shaking hands we heard some new noises that some of them are making and 
yeah, I'm very excited to introduce Chow World Extended to the new uh, Chow Garden series, the one that uh, we are currently on episode 8. Uh, part 9 will be coming pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Dawes, you have a PC, not really that great with modding though, probably going to look into it soon though. Yeah, I, I wish I had looked into Chow World Extended sooner, because this mod is pretty fun and pretty exciting. It's interesting. Uh, it's nice having like Jewel Chow in the game finally and being able to fix the shiny two-tone Chow. Uh, that was a big deal to me. Same with these Dreamcast Gardens. These things are awesome. So, but yeah, with that, I think we will... Uh... Ooh, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. I think we'll end off this stream. I'm uh, falling asleep over here. Definitely need to get uh, some food. And uh... yeah, so thank you everyone for checking out the stream. We had a few super chats during the stream. Uh, we had Fui had one, Lauren showed up with a super chat, um, I believe, I forget the name, Super Mika, or Mika Hotshot, sorry, I don't, sorry I remembered your name wrong, Mika Hotshot had a super chat, so thank you everyone for the super chats, and for checking out, uh, this video, please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and, uh, subscribe for more Chow content, I thank you all very much for watching, thank you to the members for supporting the channel, all of their names are up on the top of the screen there. You guys are awesome, helping keep this channel going, and I really appreciate you. So thank you very much. I hope you guys all have a great evening or great rest of your day, whatever time it is, uh, wherever you are. And uh, thank you very much. Look forward uh, to seeing you guys in the next live stream. The new Chow Garden episodes will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. And yeah, I think that's everything for me. So thank you. Have a great night, you guys. Or great, like I said, great day. <laughs>